It is the 1st of the 4th, 2013, and this is your radioactive reality. No April Fools today, kids. Around 7.50 on Easter Sunday morning, an accident at the Arkansas nuclear power plant not only killed one worker and injured others, but it also left the unit number one reactor without off-site power. Workers were using the number one turbine temporary lift device to move a main turbine generator uh, straighter, which weighs over 500 tons out of the turbine building when it fell. The lift crane failed, dropping the load, which resulted in a crash which is heard by local residents miles from the site and tripped the number two reactor. Uh, there was one known fatality and four known serious injur injuries to workers, and they're reporting injuries up to eight of them. The event cost a, lo a loss of decay heat removal at Unit 1, which was restored some four minutes later. And the Unit 1 lost all off-site power. The emergency diesel generators were started and are supplying backup power. At 10.33, over two and a half hours later, Unit 2 entered a notification of unusual event due to damage to the 2A1 switchgear, which this thing landed on. Unit 2 entered hot standby mode and decay heat being removed via steam dumps to the atmosphere. They're dumping the steam into the atmosphere. Let's hope it's not leaking. At this time, the full extent of structural damage of Unit 1 is not known. Unit 2, 2A1 switchgear was damaged and currently de-energized, but no other equipment at Unit 2 was reported damaged. And there's a lot of we don't knows and uh, funny things going on with this story. We're definitely going to have to cover this. Any news? Major oil spill in the U.S. after pipeline bursts 40 miles from this Arkansas nuclear power plant at emergency level 4. Uh, they're saying it's like a, a river of crude oil. Over 500,000 gallons were spilled and uh, big crazy things going on in Arkansas today. Uh, air detection teams were deployed after the U.S. nuclear power plant accident. Uh, evacuation signs were posted throughout community. Concerns over building stability. Uh, worker, quote, worst thing to happen in 30 plus years. And this is the Arkansas number one. And uh, U.S. nuclear plant steam dumps into atmosphere. No known primary to secondary leakage. Full extent of damage unknown. Additional staff brought to the site. But don't worry, folks. Everything's completely under control. Uh, they got a map out. Series of sea snail now entirely extinct in large area around Fukushima nuclear power plant. And the ecosystem is severely, severely damaged and or destroyed by this nuclear accident where we have three confirmed meltdowns and through into the atmosphere. Japan Prime Minister discusses restarting Fukushima Daiichi reactors Safety to be confirmed, <laughs> like they'll ever get these things back up again. Uh, CBS Los Angeles, dead sea lions everywhere. Rescuer, I've never seen anything like it. We would never have imagined the numbers. The expert, no oceanographic explanation for what we are seeing. Again, no oceanographic explanation for what they are seeing on the California coast. And uh, sea lions are just a single species in a long line of economic disaster that is the Pacific Ocean. Uh, many people have reported medical problems since the Fukushima nuclear disaster began. Uh, make a video out on that. Radio energy pendants very popular to on internet. Radioactive dose of 200 millisieverts per year detected much higher than nuclear worker limit to be worn around the neck. A Daily Show gets nuclear exclusive, a phenomenal story about processing uranium in the United States. 12-minute extended interview on The Daily Show. You should be ashamed. Uh, yeah, rat at Fukushima Daiichi measured 15 microsieverts per hour. It's moving radioactive material, and uh, everything running in and out of there is just spreading it around and spreading it around. Dead dolphin spike in Louisiana, Mississippi, quote, we have been advised not to discuss our findings, unquote. Mostly babies are washing up. 
And uh, again, that's continued on from my last report. Over to Fukushima Diary, uh, their daily news. <clears throat> They've got some interesting things going on today. Uh, 56,100 becquerels per kilogram of cesium-134-137 from the filter of air cleaner in Yokohama. That's 253 kilometers from the Fukushima plant. Again, it's getting around and it's accumulating. It just keeps stacking. 61,000 becquerels per kilogram from wild boar meat in Fukushima. The highest reading ever. And I remember seeing a report in Europe after Chernobyl where they were telling people not to hunt these wild boars because they eat the mushrooms. And the mushrooms really, really uh, soak up this radiation. Uh, to be expected. TEPCO to restart nitrogen injections to reactor number one. The volume of gas is 40% more than last time, which means they've got to inject nitrogen into these reactors. What's going on? I wonder. Nuclear Emergency Response Headquarters lifted the shipping regulations of flounder from uh, Miyagi. Uh, small fish kill, 100 small fish found dead in the city of Fukushima. The reason is unverified. Japan government plans on using imported food, plans to ban using imported food ingredients for their school lunches, which means the only thing they're going to be serving in their schools in Japan is local. 44 countries restricting import of food from Japan may present case to the World Trade Organization. Uh, 44 countries and regions are still restricting imports from Japan, though Canada and Mexico, Canada and Mexico lifted the importing restriction. China still bans importing all kinds of food from the 10 prefectures. South Korea is also putting regulations on importing spinach, fish, mushrooms, etc to be expected. Uh, they don't plan to lift the re regulations yet, but you better believe they're working on it. Too much money to be lost. And uh, second core damage and major radiation discharge occurred on reactor 1 and 3 from March 20th to March 23rd, 2011. Uh, TEPCO released their video re record of their TV meeting. Uh, according to this record, 90% of the coolant water didn't reach reactor number one on March of 2011, which caused an additional core damage. <sighs> and it goes on and on and on and on and on, of course. Um, if I missed anything, please let me know. Uh, attach your comments or videos below. I'd like to finish today with thanking... Uh, the handful of you that have helped um, towards my trip fund, I will keep my PayPal donation button up on my um, YouTube channel. Uh, if you click down on my name, it'll it'll be right there. Um, I appreciate all the help I can get, and uh, I will keep running that until I leave in May. So, if you want to help me out on my trip, and uh, again, give me a cup of coffee or a cheeseburger, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, thanks again for everything. Enjoy the weekend, everybody.